Okay, what we want to do is we want to add up some vectors. But before we add up vectors, when we start with a diagram like this, which is a bunch of a group of vectors, we've got a 5 here, a 7 here, a 4 here, and a 3 here drawn like this. What we really want to do is work with a vector equation, not with a diagram. So what we're going to suggest is that we take this vector diagram and we apply our north, south, east, and west coordinate system to it so that we can come up with an equation that has bearings in it. So let's take a look at this. Well, the 5 is going pretty much straight up, and we're quite nice guys. When we give you a question on a test, we're probably going to make one of them along the north or one of them along the east or something like that just to make it work out really nice and the numbers to work out to be really easy to work with. So I'm going to use the 5 as my north, and so I'm going to draw my bearing right on there. like this. And now what I want to do is put bearings on these and write them down as an equation. So the 5, well that one's going to be 5 north, so I'm going to label it as 5 north. This 7 here, I need to know what direction it's going relative to my north, south, east, and west. And well, I've got 120 degrees to the 7 from the north. Well this is 90 degrees here, so that leaves me 30 degrees. This angle here is 30 degrees. So I can call the 7 east 30 degrees south. That leaves me with two more to work with. Well, let's look at the 4. Uh, what I'm going to do is I've got 120 here from the 5 and an 80 there. So 120 and 80 is 200 degrees. So I'm 200 degrees around this way from north. Well, I know that this is 180 because it's halfway around the circle. So if I take the 180 from the 200, I'm left with 20 degrees here. So this angle here must be 20 degrees. My 200 minus the 180. So the 4, it's going to be south 20 west. South 20 degrees towards the west. So let's look at the 3. Uh, well, this one's going to be easy. If this is north, and that's 60 degrees, this is going to be 3 north 60 west. So now I can write down my equation and it doesn't matter what order I add them up in. If I add this, this, then this, and then this, I'm going to get the same answer as if I started with this, plus this, plus this, plus this. It doesn't matter. So I'm just going to start with the 5 north plus, oops, plus this one here, 7 east 30 south plus 4 south 20 west plus 3 north 60 west. So this now is a vector equation that I can work with to add and subtract vectors. So what you need to do is you need to go look at the video about adding and subtracting vectors as graphical or algebraic method, but we want to start with this equation. And in the sample in the video for adding vectors, there are actually different numbers, but it's the same idea. We took something like this, and now we have a vector equation. How do we add this up? That's the next step. And then when we get the answer, we need to now get rid of these bearings because they weren't in the original question. And for that, you should look at the video on removing bearings from your answer.